Hey guys, um, welcome back to the showroom. Uh, we just want to do a quick run through of what we're actually using on the front of uh, a lot of our camper trailers. This here is a McHitch. It's a three and a half ton uni guide coupler. It's a full off-road um, off design hitch, uh, similar to your other off-road design hitches like your Polyblocks and your Cruise Master DO35. But this particular one's unique in its design and how it actually operates. So we're going to give you a really quick run through of how it actually works. We'll show you how it um, operates on the car. Um, and just some of the reasons why we actually use it. So basically you've got two main parts um, that are uh, part of this hitch. You've got the receiver, which is this part here, which I've actually just taken off the, um, off the, uh, off the end here. Um, so this is the part that actually belongs on the car. And you sort of might be looking at it going, oh geez, what do I need for my car to work for that? Nothing more than a standard tow tongue. So um, basically all that needs to happen is the ball needs to come off your tongue of your car and this just gets placed on um, in reverse of it. The reason that we actually love, well, second part is obviously the part that goes onto the trailer. So this particular part has a um, obviously a knuckle and it's got full 360 degree rotation. So benefit of this is it's got unreal articulation when you're off uh, when you're actually off road, but it also means it's extremely safe on road. So if there's God forbid an accident on the road and and for some reason the van um, moves where it shouldn't or uh, or worst case scenario it actually flips, it won't take the car with it. So um, it's extremely safe. It's um it's a brilliant bit of kit, brilliant design. Uh, made in Lithgow, um, uh, and it's won a sack of awards, which I think I've mentioned on one or two videos as well. So how does this actually work? Well, really simple. Basically, all you need to do is connect uh, this part up to the receiver. Uh, the way we do it is we actually reverse onto it. Um, you can pull the camp trailer onto it, but why would you when you can just reverse straight onto it? So uh, the receiver on the car will come towards it. Basically, all you've got to do is, as it connects up, the handle lifts up and locks in place. You've got a locking, uh, locking pin here, um, which automatically engages. You then put the, um, the pin straight through it um, to lock it all in place, and then your circlip, which it will just holds it in, um, holds it in and locks it in. So ultimately, you've got two solid locking mechanisms on this uh, on this hitch. Um, you've got the first bit there, which goes over the knob, which locks that part in. You've also then got the pin that goes square through the center of it, which locks that on, uh, which locks that on cannot come away from the car extremely tough extremely durable um, and a cracking bit of kit so um, yeah you gotta love how these operate so simple you want to release it all you got to do um, is basically lift the handle up it'll actually hold the handle up itself and then you just drive away so yeah awesome bit of kit come out I'll show you how it is on the SCT 200 and how we actually hook a camper up to it So guys, you can see this is the back of the SC200. We've got the receiver from the MIG hitch on this. And as you can see, no modifications to the car. It's just on a standard um, a standard uh, tongue. Um, this one's actually a drop down tongue because of the extra height of the car. Um, basically, we just need it to, to obviously lower the tongue down a little bit. But all we're gonna do, and all we've done, um, is actually level the camper trailer up so that it's about, about right. Basically, this plate here is gonna do a lot of the guiding work anyway of it. Um, but as long as you've got roughly the right height, handbrake's on, I'll jump in the car, we'll back onto it and she'll lock, uh, lock straight in. Obviously, I'll take the pin out before we do that, otherwise it won't go anywhere. So, simple as that, and, um, and yeah, let's go hitch it up. So now we're on, all I'm gonna do is whack the pin in, circlip in, obviously you're gonna do your chains up, um, safety chains always, lift up your jockey wheel, but otherwise we're up to go. Couldn't be easier, any easier. Um, uh, so this is basically the standard hitch that we use on uh, most of our trailers. There's a couple that don't use it. Um, however, if you want the DO35, if you want a, a poly block, uh, let us know, it's easy to change out. We can, um, we can do any of those options, but yeah, we love this bit of kit. Um, so how do we unhook it? Well, it's just as easy. All I'm gonna do is basically take the circle clip out, rip the pin out. As you'll see, when I lift the handle up, it locks open. I'm gonna jump in the car and drive straight off. So guys, it's as easy as that. Um, if you've got any questions about the operation of this, give us a call, uh, let us know, or give them a kit to call. Um, they're based out of Lithgow uh, in New South Wales. Um, so yeah, so yeah.